Welcome to this follow-up video on extracting data in Python. Today we're going to be talking about how to grab data from JSON files and put it into a pandas data frame. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are at our Jupyter Notebook. And just as a quick note here, the JSON files that we have created uh, are specifically for the purposes of this video. If you actually want to practice with some real JSON data, you can come over here to data.gov and they should have a bunch of data sets for you to explore in the JSON format. Let's go ahead and start by importing our packages. So we're going to import pandas as pd, import numpy as np, and import JSON. Now this JSON package isn't one that we've used previously. So in this video we're going to be talking about some of the advantages of using it and how it can help us when we're trying to parse through data and put it into data frames within Python. Okay, let's go ahead and import all these packages. Now I'm gonna pull up the files that we're gonna be working with here in our project folder. The two that we're gonna be using are the nested JSON and the simple JSON. Let's take a look at this simple.json file. We have our name, age, and email column, and then we have four rows of values that we're gonna be reading into pandas. Let's close that. And then we're gonna type data is equal to pd, Dot read JSON and then we're going to pass in that simple dot JSON file perfect now let's go ahead and type out data and hit enter and there we have our perfectly put together data frame now since this was a very simple example we're gonna to need to go into a little bit more depth because JSON isn't always that cleanly put together Oftentimes, there are nested key value pairs within a value section. And so we're going to take a look at that in our next example. Okay, we're going to go ahead and now use our JSON package to import this next one because it's a little bit more complicated. So let's go ahead and type out data, set it equal to JSON dot load, and then open. And then we're going to just type nested JSON. Now before we open this up, I just want to take a look at it in our file folder here so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. So one thing I want to point out right away is that we have two main tags or two main branches that we're going to be going off of. There's this metadata tag and then there's this data tag. The metadata tag contains information about the data set itself whereas the data tab actually does contain the data set. So now that we kind of have a grasp of that, let's go ahead and close it. And now I'm going to use the pandas data frame method to pull in our data. So I'm going to say data frame is equal to data. And then I want to just pull data from that first metadata tag. So I'm going to type out data, and when I hit enter, I should get the metadata information. So you can see that it gives us the author, the columns, license, permissions, and publication date. This is more likely the format in which you will receive JSON data. One thing I do want to point out is that this columns section actually has nested key value pairs. So we're going to need to dive into that in order to unpack those. Let's go ahead real quick and just check the other tag and type out data. And when I run that, you can see that we get almost the exact same data frame, except for the columns are missing. And so if we go back to our metadata tag, you can see that there's some information here uh, nested within this JSON data that we can pull out to maybe see if we have the column name somewhere. So that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to set columns equal to pd.json .json normalize. And this is essentially going to allow us to drill further into this specific key value pair. So when you're dealing with nested key value pairs, you're going to use this json normalize function. Okay, so I'm going to type data dot loc. Essentially I'm just trying to locate which 
one I want to dive deeper into. So I'm going to type out columns, and I'm going to put a comma and type out metadata, since that's this column that we're going to be looking at here. Okay, now I'm going to just go ahead and view that really quick. So this is just a little bit more information about the data set itself. So you see that we have names, missing data, and the data type that's used in each of the columns. We're really only concerned with this column here since we want to have some column headers to put on our data frame. So what we're going to actually do is type out columns and redefine it as list and then type columns and then grab the names column. When I print that out, we should get a list of all of the column names, which will be easily passable into our data frame. So let's go ahead and grab this section of code, and we should be able to now join in the rest of our data. So we're going to actually grab from the data section here. And then all we need to do is just pass columns and set it equal to columns, the one that we defined up here. And now when I run this, we should get a beautiful data frame that is easy to read, and we can start performing manipulations to this data set if we needed to. Now that we have a good grasp of how to pull data into Python, we can take the next step and explore how Python can be used to manipulate and transform data. Join us in this next video to see how simple it can be.